Welcome to the Nook on the Voluntary Virtues Network. I'm Steve. I'm here today with John and Riley and Chelsea and Christy and John. And I got everybody's name this time. Yay! I feel like that's an accomplishment. I'd have to say so. I think so. Yeah. Yeah. I concur. What are you drinking today, Chelsea? Bohemia. That's Bohemia. Mm hmm. Bohemia? Yeah. Is that, there is that. What do you think about wow. it? I like it. What's it like? It's like a that other beer that looks like this. Ne yeah. Negro Modelo. <laughs> Neg Negro Modelo. Yeah. Negra. Black Negra. That's good stuff, man. <laughs> it is indeed. I'm uh, drinking the special ale from Commission Brewery. It's a spiced brown ale, I think. It's pretty good. Where? Cup of days? Spiced? Yeah. Oh, that's actually good. That's really good. No, I'm jealous. Yeah. You want to try it? <laughs> Sharing is caring. Yes. Yeah, right. <laughs> muy, muy excellente. Muy, yeah. Cool. Really good. Oh, Spanish. <laughs> Spanish words for Spanish the day. Lesson for <laughs> well, we, we talked about earlier somebody calling somebody out for not speaking Spanish. Exactly. <laughs> you gotta speak Spanish if you're gonna live in Southern that's California, folks. Not that that's where we live or anything, but no, we don't live fact. there. That's just a fact of life. In the Pacific Southwest. Yeah, 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 yeah. In that general area, yeah. like you gotta learn, know Spanish at least a little bit, like it's courteous. And if I don't, good for you. Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Do what you want. <laughs> My mind and body are okay. Yeah, okay. Uh, typically speaking, as long as there's not a cognitive dis dissonance that, you know, alienates you from your true self, then your mind-body, you know, interaction should pan out just fine. Well, let's make sure <laughs> we bring that up again, okay? During right, our conversation. Yeah, we, we, we can work on that. <laughs> so tonight we're talking a little bit about uh, metaphysics, I think. Right? No. It would, no. You don't think it would fall under metaphysics? <laughs> uh, no. I think I mean, it would fall, it, out, fall it, well under metaphysics. Well, the reason why I love the mind-body problem, philosophically speaking, so much is that I feel like in addressing it, you inevitably address ontology or metaphysics or, or what have you in terms of, like, ultimate things. Because really what the mind-body, you know, conundrum in philosophy does is, is force the investigator of philosophical insight into you know really getting uh coming to terms with what reality is at its most basic and fundamental level and so i think that's where it's just a lot of you know a lot of the good stuff about the conundrum of the mind body apparent conundrum comes in is, is addressing that issue what is so yeah i was just going to say what is the problem what is that problem so the problem gets framed in <laughs> modern philosophy under uh you know the heading of cartesian dualism uh, Car descartes uh subjugated the human individual in regards to two fundamentally opposed or um incongruent uh substances being one matter and the other spirit where or mind uh, is kind of like an, an analogy or like you know a placeholder for, for spirit in this regard and so basically he said okay so like going through the philosophical you know drawing out of the problem it, you so can you uh, know, ergo sum. I think therefore I am which is a complete fallacy of metaphysical speculation but regardless of that fact he, That's he, how Descartes. Yeah, that, 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 he is famous for that for that uh, for that quote. Um, but generally speaking, in broad terms, it can be addressed in this way: you think about the mind, and you think about all the attributes attributed to the mind, and which I'm just going to throw out there for the sake of conversation. What are some of the attributes attributed to the mind? Individualism. Individualism. Thought. Okay. Thought. Thought. Anything else? Reason. Reason. And when you think about cognition, <coughs> cognition, <coughs> okay, content, imagination, yeah. consciousness. Yeah. Any other Identity. particularities? Hmm? Identity. Identity. Mm -hmm. Identity. All Ego. Reason. Ego. Morality. Mm -hmm. Morality is a matter of the mind. <coughs> All very good. Uh, you know. Collectivism. Collectivism <laughs> is a matter of the mind. Interesting. Indeed. And so. 
the way he typically framed uh, the his dialectic or his you know model of approaching the philosophical problem is the mind consists of uh, you know well thoughts like was mentioned which are immaterial right you can't know you can't perceive what I'm thinking oh, I know in what my mind think. I know what you're thinking. well and there are some who you know apparently <laughs> can perceive <laughs> the, the <laughs> thoughts of others and that's something yeah. to be you know considered in right. this whole. Uh, and science analysis. is closely bringing us to yeah, being to able understand to understand that. Yeah. To understand what people are thinking, even before they know that they're thinking it. Yeah. Oh, like yeah. for instance, the the study that was done about the numbers and the subliminally sent messages mm -hmm. uh, to the people without their awareness, and that they like already. There was some study done where, like, yeah, they they determined that they can know. They can know what a person was going to choose prior to their conscious mm -hmm, awareness right. of their yep. choosing. Yeah. So yeah, Based there's something off for that. Of genetics or probably algorithms. Brain scans. Algorithms. Brain scans yeah. based based off yeah the reading of people's yeah. brain activity. They could predict. They could predict based on brain scans. It wasn't a hundred percent predictability. No, it was, like it was like seventy five, yeah, eighty percent, high seventies, low eighties. There was a study where genetics had a study in that we're saying my grandmother had a point to where if say let's say my grandmother didn't like onions maybe i grew up to not like onions as well oh, okay oh so you're talking about like epigenetics there you go Okay, so yeah, yeah we've talked about that before. Mm -hmm. Okay, there are these factors to consider All in regards to this factors, problem. Yeah, yeah, that are passed down. To so us. thoughts, even fears. Mm -hmm. Yeah, even fears. fears. Um, so like, and then you think about the categories of thought. So like, they're or odorless. You can't smell them. Hmm. They're uh, well, tasteless. You can't have taste odors them. Sometimes. Huh? <laughs> my thoughts have odors sometimes. Well, yeah, <laughs> you, you can use that expression, you know, like you have dirty thoughts, or you know, you know what I mean. But it's, it's a way of categorizing. But it's still subjective, you know. Yeah, it's yeah. a subjective I mean, categorization it is, it is. of a yeah, of, a, mind, of a, a set of. Aren't thoughts. all categorizations subjective though? <laughs> yeah. I wanted to be, you know, as accurate as I could be. In as, my a answer. as a matter of fact, just today I was having a discussion with someone about voluntary, and if that term itself is subjective, yeah. and apparently anarchists agree that it is subjective. Yeah. Well, really? How could voluntarism yeah. be subjective? I mean, we're, I, I we can't went understand off on it from my own. For my own reasoning, but some people apparently. What do you mean? How could it not yeah. be subjective? I mean, like, how, how could, could it be, be objective? Subject? No, how could it be subjective? How could it be objective? So, but, but voluntary means that both parties agree. Right. How but could it be? How could it be subjective? That's because pretty... the two parties are subjective individuals. Yeah, but the, but there is an well, agreement. Basically there, that's not subjective. That's their agreement. argument is basically if you choose to live under a dictator. Are you still voluntarily choosing that, even though you're forced to participate once you've opted in? Yeah. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, is it still, yeah. And I but guess, some people, uh, okay. but some people disagree, and I personally don't disagree because if you chose to be there, then you deserve any consequences that came no, from that do. action. Yeah, you know you what I mean? Do. Like you it's do. just personal responsibility, yeah. if you yeah. ask my in yeah. my opinion. You but do. Very true. some people it don't is. see it that way. But it's I think it's or gray or yes. It's all the same. Does thing. that does that make it subjective or objective? I, I personally don't disagree or agree either way because I, I see it my way. But that's the only <laughs> way that I can see it. You know what I mean? I can't see it from somebody else. So you're saying you can't get out life experience. But I think that's part of voluntarism. I don't think it's subjective. I don't think voluntarism is it subjective. I think that's just an out branch of being mm -hmm. voluntary. You know, it's like yeah, okay, you choose to live within it. That's part of the outcome of I think we I, I think there's gray areas when you're talking about trying to prove whether somebody else voluntarily or involuntarily did something. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I I think that can be subjective mm -hmm. because we don't always know another person's Yeah, motives. but they know. They know. They might not always know yeah. too. That With gets the, into the exactly, brainwashing yeah. idea. Yeah, exactly. All right. Okay. All right. Curious. All very curious. Yeah. But anyway, get so back go to the back topic. To the, right. <laughs> go back to the. <laughs> so <laughs> thoughts are odorless. They're tasteless. You can't feel them. Um, they they don't exist in temporal uh, time space uh, continuum as we typically understand it in regards to objective uh, objects in uh, that we relate to like this fire for example. <coughs> um, How is it not temporary? Um, 
What I mean by tempor- temporal is like concrete, like you know, thoughts. You know, I. So they I, just I, go. They. Yeah, they're, until they're, they're, if the memory doesn't keep them, they yeah, go. Yeah, right? like they're not. Yeah. They're not con- You know, they're not in, in any material form. Is what I mean by temporal. Um, and spatial, you know, like in terms of our experience of our thoughts, like I can think a thought right now that no one else in this uh, group can measure Will of, you let of us know spatially. What it is? <laughs> you know what I mean? I, I can be immediately aware of it uh, existentially, but no one else in my space is aware of it external from my perception. Well, I'm not aware of your heartbeat either, but. Yeah. Yeah. So the problem is that the body is material and like can't connected that way. Yeah, so the way he develops his argument is that <laughs> the mind is immaterial and is devoid of all the characteristics that would make it compatible with the material body. And so he, he comes to terms with the irreconcilability of the immaterial mind with the material body by postulating that the interaction between these incompatible parts of the human person uh, take place within the pineal gland or the seat of the soul uh, where of course you know Rick Strassman's uh, research as of uh, relatively recent has disclosed that the pineal gland is responsible for the dissemination of DMT uh, throughout the body which is of course is a very highly psychoactive drug which he has uh, gone on to term as the spirit molecule so on and so forth so it's pretty interesting that in you know pre-science times, Descartes and even the Egyptians knew uh, far b- before him that the pineal gland was the center in which you know the spirit molecule or that which connects us to the uh, <coughs> if ethereal or the uh, non-material realms is uh, the center in, in the human you know physiological uh, organism. So we're but still talking about individualism. I'm sorry. It's still individualism. Yeah, I mean, you're talking individualistically when you're talking about the human person in regards to the, you know, their interaction of their quote mind and body. Or is that just a connection gland. to the divine? The pineal well, that's gland? exactly what his point was. Is, is is that that's what the seat of the soul or the pineal gland uh, symbolized and functioned as <laughs> was the 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 place where the divine. And the material world meet and window coalesce. Window to the soul. I'm sorry. Window to the soul. Oh uh, yeah, the, the window eyes. to the soul. Yeah. The eyes, which the it, which is funny because the pineal gland, if you look at it, you know, graphically or what in have you, slice, in yeah. a slice, it looks, of, like, it looks yeah. like an eye. eye yeah. Of course, the eye of Ra yeah. or right. uh, Amun Ra, right. according to or the, the all-seeing eye. The all-seeing yes, eye, all exactly. Seeing eye. And so, the green. And apparently, it has. Visual, it has like the same um, things that our, our the back of our eyes has that I, I heard it. I mean, it has something that is like the cones, and yeah, like the cones. It has, oh, things yeah, in it like that perceptual. Actually, yeah. I have to look into that. Yeah, yeah. I, I think yeah. I remember hearing something yeah. similar to that. Yeah, which does pertain yeah. to individualism. Yeah, and I mean, indi- we can't escape our individuality, you know, like no matter what we do, and, and the goal of the no, mystic, we never confront it. Well, that's an interesting point right what's there. This? What's mm-hmm. this? What's this? What's this? Unless we never embrace it. Confront we never it. Embrace. Yeah, yeah unless that's, we never engage it. You one know, of the we, reasons I think utopia can't exist. I'm sorry? I, I think that's one of the reasons that a perfect utopia no. simply cannot exist because everybody's idea of utopia is going it's to be different. different. It's yeah. not going to, there's not going to be any system that's Completely perfect for agree. anyone. Like, not one... No, not one thing is going to be the solution for everyone. For me, though, it yeah, exactly. For me. But it's just for you. It's like <laughs> right. for everybody in a different sense. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it reminds me of a, a it's quote. For some people, but it's immoral. Can it exist though without you're cooperation? Right. Right. It reminds me of what you said. Yeah, it, um, your, utopia. Can utopia exist without cooperation? <clears throat> In my mind, it could. It can, because I think my, it can only it's exist like, what with is cooperation? voluntary cooperation. Sure it can't can can be forced cooperation. <laughs> <laughs> world and utopia. Yeah, I wouldn't impose it. The only it. way it would exist. It'd have to for it to exist. No, I could, in, I could in a encourage. world of individuals. No, I would. I had to I would, on the same plane on different senses. Why couldn't I just have a conversation with somebody and then that's what they choose? Mm-hmm. That that, that's be, yeah exactly. But yeah, but what if they choose something different? Yeah, exactly. Basically, you're just. But you're what if they choose something different? Of, well, but, you know what? Th- but then my utopia is small. You know, it's like I have a small utopia. It's not like it doesn't happen. But what if I I decide though. that I want your utopia and I come into your space? 
to to make it then my I, own. Then I would protect myself. I would self. But I think that but the, qualifies but then as utopia self-defense is done. at that point. You know then, what I mean? Yeah, Re- but regardless, then qualify as self defense. And it, it would. Opinion, I, I agree. But that's the But then utopia, utopia would be destroyed, there. right? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah, but, yeah, you're but right. I'll yeah. live it as long as I can. You know, it's like <laughs> surf always the utopia. <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I don't know. I think it's, the matter in regards to utopianism is that no one's utopianism can usurp the utopianism of another well, but that's, individual. That's, that's, yeah. We're all here so far, because of that. It's, it's you know, we don't so, believe in that. Right. In yeah. so far as one's utopianism doesn't presuppose the usurpation of other people's But I think we you know, could have. I mean, going idea. into that, I think we could have a utopia that's, that kind of mutates, that says, okay, that's true. But it mutates, and that and utopia doesn't have to be a rigid thing. It could be a, a mutatable thing. It's like only yeah, if yeah, only Malleable. if you're open to yeah, change, though. Well, exactly. Yeah, you have to be or open if you're to open to voluntary to some, change, yeah. Yeah, some, people are, you know? some people are some people are predisposed to not being open you're to change. Right. Right. Most people, right. most yeah. people yeah. are not. So, but we could most, you could create a yeah. community of people who got that mm-hmm. utopia could maybe, and you would, would have a changed. handful of five yeah. who are in the same place <laughs> yeah, with you. Like <laughs> you, you, you wouldn't have the same people as you, and that's why utopia is subjective. It's it's oh, what you yeah. make yeah. it. But totally we shouldn't subjective. be looking for utopia all of, anyway. Yeah. All of all exactly. of life. That that's kind of my point. <laughs> okay. Here, here, is that here, we okay. shouldn't be that's right. going here, here, after utopia. Here, here's my. No, Almost non-existent. It's in your own mind. I, I would say that even if it is, like somewhat close to being able to exist, it's going to exist in a form of voluntary, like mm-hmm. cooperation exactly. between different it people, like and, different mm-hmm. societies, but yep. but but like cooperating and peacefully exchanging, even like, though they disagree with right. certain things. Exactly. You know what I, mean? I, I think that's the limit. only. Probably that's as close as you're going to get to I it, do. I believe. I, I really. Agree. Well, utopia is There's not going to not be war. Utopia. There's not going to not be famine or death. I mean, it, there's not going to be any. There's, gonna, there's going to be today. that kind of stuff, yeah. you know? And there's always going to be the anarchist of the group, the person that's like, this doesn't exist. Like, like you're all crazy. Like, I don't agree with any of you. <laughs> there's always going to be that person. Well, dissenters are welcome. Yes. <laughs> as long as they they should. They, no, know that no, they should be, sure. but they're not. Exactly. I mean, not well, today. Yeah, exactly. I mean, no. and yes, it they should be. Exist because there is always going to be that person. There's always going to be yeah. that mind. There's always so, going to be the disagreement of the group. Yeah. Which was, and that's okay, which though. What, no, and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what yeah. makes life beautiful. So yeah. back to the mind-body problem. I have some questions. Yeah, tell me. <laughs> <laughs> so it, if... The mind is really Wait, separate from the body. It's all right. How does... Can you get her beer back there? Which one? Right there. Yeah. How does, right there. Right there. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. How does the immaterial mind uh, <laughs> interact with the material world? Well, okay, so yeah, that's the problem that Rene Descartes proposed in, in, in his uh, meditations and in his philosophy. And how he dealt with the problem was in terms of um, dualism. So he right. believed that um. the mind-body interact via, again, the, the seat of the soul or the pineal gland. So that's how he resolved the problem. There are others who, okay, so basically how he formulated the, the position or the so, problem. So the mind can only exist then with a body. That, that, see, that, that conundrum <laughs> is what he ran into, and, uh, and he would have outrightedly said that had it not been for... The religious persecution of the day and age. Right, but isn't uh, AI a mind without a body? Like even if it's, like, oh, okay, so it's a computer it's body perfect, in its perfect form. Yeah, like, well, if like it really was allowed really to, is. if it really yeah. was able to yeah. think. Yeah, yeah. 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 It's Later. just computational. You yeah. still have a computer body, but it's computational. Yeah. It's not a, a computational yeah, it, it, it body. It is still yeah. a physical yeah. body. So yeah, yeah, you you're right about it that. It is physical, but okay. So how he framed the 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 whole conundrum was this. There are immaterial minds that interact with material bodies. Immaterial minds cannot interact with material bodies. And he breaks that down in explaining that because everything that a material mind is is contrary to what a material body is. And therefore, there can be no common grounds of uh, connection. And then he says, so it's immaterial, uh, immaterial minds exist, immater- or material bodies exist, Immaterial minds cannot interact with material bodies. Immaterial minds interact with material bodies. Therefore, immaterial bodies or immaterial minds ex- 
uh, interact with immaterial or with material bodies. I'm sorry. You, you and are. so the, 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 the thing there, how, how you how you reconcile but. that? It, it will give will give rise to one of four options. One is monism, which is that mind and body are one. Really, there's only one substance, and you're a manifestation of that. You're an expression of that. The other is dualism, that there's two expressions of fundamental, uh, you know, reality. One is mental and one is phys material. The other is mentalism, in which all there is is mind, and matter, as we know it, is just a manifestation of mind. And the other is parallelism, where in which there's both immaterial body and the material, or, I'm sorry, immaterial mind and material body which don't actually interact but which, which are laid over in like a film with sound and video in which they correspond <coughs> and appear to act and, and you know have influence on on each other but in actuality there is no connection it's just a layover so pre-established pre before the foundations of existence to play out in accordance to the exact you know working out of these two fundamentally opposed substances which appear to coincide, which really are just dictated by mechanical processes, which, you know... So the observer, isn't that awfully so the observer is the one coincidental, that, yeah. though? Oh, but yeah, the, the thing are. about parallelism is that it closely coincides with the mechanicalistic interpretation of uh, phenomenon and in, in existence and reality that is present today in, in, in modern-day scientism, <laughs> where there are these... Well, because you know, you, isn't you that have, also just determinism? It is determinism. Yeah. There is absolutely no freedom. There is absolutely no will, no. independent of the great scheme of things, of which you no, have no yeah, part to exactly. play individually. No You're just a working we out. Have no idea the of, advances uh, of science right now. Oh no! I mean, yeah, all bets are off in regards know. to science right now. Are you saying they don't affect each other? They don't affect, according to parallelism, which Spinoza was a, a, a you know a, a proponent of, is that there is immaterial minds and material bodies but they don't actually interact they're just laid out on a track that plays like out you don't have free experience. Will. so what's like the, you don't what's the origin will or well, the origin of what of those two what levels. Uh, of those two levels it can vary from philosopher <laughs> to philosopher but according to spinoza my impression of spinoza is that he ultimately believes that reality is fundamentally mental or spiritual in essence but you know there are people who will just as uh, ardem adamantly argue the opposite that you know Spinoza believed that everything was fundamentally physical so you really you can take either side in regards to that primary point of departure in regards to parallelism but for me the interesting part of the whole debate of the mind-body problem <coughs> philosophically speaking in terms of philosophical history is that it brings the question what is real mm -hmm. and for yeah, me I was just thinking of that. modern science yeah. reveals that matter isn't actually real as it is supposed supposedly thought to be believed because as far as i understand it anyone can correct me on this if i'm wrong science has shown that matter is 99 percent empty space yeah. and so if the physical world that we perceive every single day is 99 percent empty space then what is that empty space that we perceive as reality well, as some physical hard physical matter some scientists believe that we're just in a computer simulation and none of this is real. It's just... Okay. It's 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 that, that's it's yeah. Yeah. shown that to be yeah. unlikely, though. Yeah. Uh, I'm even, not saying it's not unlikely even, or, or even, likely. Even, I mean, if, I just, even if that were the case, let's, let's work with that as a, a working hypothesis, that the reality as we know it is a computer <laughs> simulation. What is a computer simulation? It's made of probably physical something, you know? Like is it, though? No, or no, or, or not. But, but no. is there, okay, We're here's the, the thing. Here's the thing that modern science has shown us, and that server. is my beef with modern science, and anyone can correct me if I'm wrong, is, is there such thing as anything physical, as we typically refer to the word physical in regards to, you what know. What is the definition of the word is? Is actual. <laughs> actual. The word is. It depends actual. what you mean by the, by the word is. Summoning his. By the word is, I mean <laughs> actual. <laughs> inner politician. <laughs> no, what's the definition of is? No, it's funny. <laughs> and can, so, I up, wait, can I bring up this commercial on Pandora? This is so silly, but it's so relevant. This what commercial time? on Pandora. Let's hear it. It's talking to Bob Dylan. Hey, Bob Dylan, I've downloaded all your songs on my database. Oh, really? Yeah. Can you sing? Yes, I can sing. And they have a higher intelligence of what 
Bob Dylan does and what he sings and what he does and everything. Mm -hmm. What does that higher intelligence does to you in that metaphysical thing, what you're thinking uh -huh. of right now? Like, yeah, so basically what that does And that's is just a fucking commercial on Pandora. <laughs> right. Who knows yeah. what they're doing behind our backs? No. Like, I it, feel like we're the last people to know what's going on. You're Technology absolutely right. Technology rise. Like. You're absolutely right. Uh, so Matt, uh, you know. Remember Matt? An, Matt, uh, an we old love school you, Matt. friend of ours. <laughs> <laughs> he, he was Matt, Matt. We love you, Matt. He, he was bringing <laughs> up but. to our attention, uh, hanging out with me and a friend of ours that, like a num like probably about a month ago or so now, that they had just confirmed the existence. In the create the creation and the existence of a, a quantum computer, yeah. Mm -hmm. And so this quantum computer can process what would it's have taken. It's on commercials taken... now on Pandora. Yeah, you're right. Oh, you know, you're okay. Like, so yeah, yeah, what does that what does that what does that say about spirit intelligence and what about does that say individuality about it? and about you know sentience and all of this? And I think that it kind of says what I'm saying in that <laughs> in, in, <laughs> anything. Anything physical, because we're physical, apparently, well, right? We, 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 we interact we in the physical maybe. world every Somebody day. Knows, as far as right. we, know. Maybe. Like, we got a maybe, yeah. yeah. I use the word physical <laughs> in, in parentheses, like right? Because nothing's actually concretely physical. We just don't know. But we don't fucking know. F femino uh, feminologically, or, you know, or the phenomenon Phenomenal. of our experience. It's just yeah, electromagnetic fields. Impulse, right? Yeah, so that can be... That can be but are replicated are that can be that can be physical? that can be brought out in a process of electronical computer stimuli just as much as it can inside gray oh, matter exactly. of the human and mind they've done that they've done that 10 years ago well so even if you look at the definition of what cells are cells are like oh, i forget yeah. the exact definition there's a guy who did you know talks about it, it, it that the cells are essentially computers they're they're liquid crystals mm -hmm. That you know, they're machines. Yeah, they're, they're yeah, they're like a machine-like yeah. substance, yeah. and and so th the only real difficulty in in integrating or uh, matching up technology in terms of computers with human biology is the fact that there's like a pairing match, where the, the you know machines are like rough and and hard and 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 rigid. We use silicon whereas, and yeah, our bodies use round fiber. and soft and different yeah different mechanisms but essentially they can oh both God, produce the same thing which is a sentient being because that's all we are we're just an accumulation of empty matter that 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 you know have this experience of sentience that can be reproduced or you know recreated in in a that's digital right. form but yeah. my my, it my probably interesting will point, within the next 10 years no within the next like 5 minutes so <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, no, for real though, because all bets are off with the quantum computer because they're putting the processing of the quantum computer to the very goal of AI and what this quantum computer can do in a matter of seconds, it would have taken the previous computer, you know, the best technology prior to it, like a thousand years to do, a hundred years to do. Yeah, it's fucking wow. outrageous. All bets are off. Wow. So, but my point, what the fuck was my point? My point was going back to the fact that, damn it, it was important. <laughs> it's that your mind affects. AI versus I, I think your mind affects the physical <laughs> matter because it's not that. Oh much. yeah, going back to what computers actually are, they're all just programming based off yeah. one and zero. But what's one and zero? One and zero is an archetypal number that reflects the totality of the whole of existence. Because with one, you have every other preceding number, and with zero, you have the primary point out of which is zero one comes into existence. But is it though, Riley? So, is it so what you have in computers is just open and closed. I was just gonna say, but, but, that, but that's all like existence that, is. That's There's all. That's all yin yang. Yin yang is zero. all a matter of so everything receptivity is zeros and, ones, and 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 activity. On and it's all yeah. yes, <laughs> open, no yeah. yeah. like flow, pushing out, pushing yeah. in. Yeah. That's yeah. all. Exactly. That's all that fundamentally is. Is this relationship between yes and no, and that's all computer programming does is. Ones and zeros, ones and zeros, in a particular order Sounds that like through software, or which is programming, which is the uh, a priori conditionings of the human mind to experience the phenomena. We're trying to experience <laughs> ourselves, the world, world, world yes, that we experience we every day. So it doesn't surprise me that computers can become sentient because that's in a or way all that humanity is but it comes back more down more to this boiling exactly. point of so the fact that at least had to create nothing is actually material everything is fundamentally computers. empty yeah. and emptiness is the wholeness out of which everything grows 
And so, so your it, mind. So where's so, the mind uh, so my, body problem? My bo- my mind body problem gets uh, you know mm-hmm. reconciliation in mentalism that everything is mind, everything, everything is spirit, is, yeah. and nothing is physical. No, matter doesn't exist as such. It only exists as it does by relationship to uh, is immaterial. Energy? Is it energy yeah. still physical? Though? <laughs> yes, and no. Because energy is just a manifestation. It's just it's just a describing of what physical things are. But once you really come to terms with the fact that there is no matter as such, then then that then that distinction becomes moot. It becomes inconsequential to the greater question of what is fundamentally real. Matter is not fundamentally real. It's consciousness that gives form and function to matter that is primary. Well what is real? Real is that which is. So what is that is what is, what is, is what is is spirit. It's immaterial. Matter is empty space, and empty space is the void out of which everything arises. Mm-hmm. And it's all it's a matter of me- processing. It's more than empty space, though. There's it's empty space yeah. that is full with the divine, with God, with 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 reality, with what is there. And it's a matter of per- perceiving and interpreting. You know, the oscillating, you know, frequencies of vibrating energy, which basically matter is, that constitutes our experience of the known cosmos. Well, this might be a little off topic or on topic to the body mind thing. I love you, but Chelsea. When we No off topics. <laughs> when I when I went to body mind college it was all about like connecting the two and There's a body mind college? Well, was there was a college wow. that was really cool wow. but no longer is in existence. Yeah. And this is the professors tragedy. were all doing psychedelics but and it just didn't work. That's <laughs> kind of true. But one of the classes that we took was uh, body reading and so you'd watch someone walk back and forth across the room and you had your textbook it was um some asian guy that had written the book and i guess it's something that had been it had been uh around for a while and so just by looking at someone's body by the way they hold themselves each little part of their body my teacher was really good at it very you could tell like what had happened in their life what traumas um how they I were emotionally. I, I, I yeah. completely believe that. Like actually. if you kind of have your, just, or like no, this, your, your heart's closed 100%. off. So, you know, just all, yeah. 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 all these yeah. different things. People that had been raped, you know, their uh, legs bowed inward a lot of the time because they're trying to protect yeah. themselves. Yeah. Your yeah. names have a, yeah. a no. amount to do with your personality. And your body, but. and there's a lot of healing I think you could do with your thoughts for your body. But it is interesting because there is a disconnection. Like we know what, our body needs, but our mind wants something maybe Prior. more tasty. Or contrary to or, it, yeah. You know, contrary so. to what our body needs. Yeah. Dopamine. I think religion is basically a hijacking of that spirituality that people are seeking. You know what I mean? And <clears throat> which is, I personally think there is a war on consciousness. There is a war on you, like, expanding your mind or, or seeking out different things or trying to understand... What real is, you know what I mean? Like, right. I think it's I just think there's old people, stories people There's have. people, they just, they people just don't want, they don't want you going there. Yeah, they're like, we, we don't need you going there, okay? Yeah. People play in. Then you're going to be asking questions, and then they're going to no. be, like, saying, are we necessary? Like, I'm talking about government. Like, like uh, are we necessary? And then they're going to do this whole like, other can of worms. You're going to come with that problem. Like, like, like <laughs> do you feel all shitty like by David, yourself? And fuck, they want you to. Like David Rockefeller said, I don't want a nation, and he was oh, integral in, in, in bringing rise to the <laughs> I uh, department. I really do. The I love Rockefeller. I love his fucking art. God Stop. damn it. In the, in, the, in the department of... Uh, My Christmas cards were Rockefeller. The educational department, me. Rockefeller was integral, and he said, <laughs> I don't want a nation of workers. I don't want a nation of thinkers. I want a nation of workers. workers. Yes. So, you know, that, that definitely is a, a main you know problem in our today's educational system. System is that philosophy is going down yeah. the toilet and yeah. uh, you know things of a more um, <laughs> well humans oh, are kind of kind of play I don't think, I don't think humans are just supposed to work. No. I think they're supposed to work, but they're also supposed like, to think. There's a time to do as well, and there's a you know time to experience. think. And now is not a time to think. Yeah, right. <laughs> yeah, that's perpetual. But it's it's become like more and more like 
there's this, there's there's a time to think and there's a time to work, but that's just become more and more like work, 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 work. more and more and more and more. Yeah, and eventually, no. it's like you don't need to think. Okay, you shouldn't be thinking you while you're working. Work. Think, just work. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, just, just fucking work. Class, I, I try to tell Jr. my coworker, time. you know, like, I try to incorporate the Sabbath rest into every days of work. You know, you gotta take them breaks. You gotta, you know. But they put you in a position where you don't have a choice. That's why the cops gotta be Yeah, you don't have a choice but to participate in these shit. No idea where to go. Sometimes you just need to take it. Yeah, sometimes you just need to go dance naked in the sun, you know? Like, it's it's (laughs) necessary for the well being of the whole individual. Exactly. We have no idea what our lives have been like, but they want you to work, 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 work. This is what. These are the ones that are the economic way of approaching. Yeah. But it doesn't have to be that way. We can change that. We are changing that. Can we change that? Yes, we can. Yes. We can change the gift. We can change the economic system. To a gifting say, system, I to a barter say, system, we can do it. Well, I think you can just start to change by doing what you want. No, there's nothing wrong with it, but it doesn't have to be the only illegal, thing that can you you know, drives whatever. you. Yeah, yeah. It could be gifting, it could be barter, it could be a lot of different trade. Yeah. Mutualization, yeah. 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 Why shouldn't you? You know what I mean? The politicians that are creating these laws are breaking. Let's go vote tomorrow and vote for a better president. No, no, no. The president, 2016. Kill the president, 2016. Kill the president. 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 Kill a um, me? voluntary <laughs> situation, obviously. Or yeah. a mind body? Uh, is there a mind body problem? There is a mind body problem. Would that computer, wait, that wait, computer wait, then <laughs> have a mind? It would. No. And a body? Could you program and a body? And a body? Could you program AI. There, okay, so here, here, here's my fundamental point. But a programmer would have programmed Even that Carl Young. Both, you know what I mean? Bo- that. Stop. Both, <laughs> both <laughs> spirit, both spirit mind, like... or soul, and body are two expressions of one continuum. Drop that shit on you, right there. <laughs> <laughs> drop that shit. On you. What is that? With that, that what is I think, yeah, I think that's. Yeah. Carl Young would yeah. be like, yeah. Wiki, Wiki, yep. no. <laughs> I'm out. I'm out. Even no, uh, no. Democracy. Democracy. Democracy.